What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Bioshock in 2023. I actually thought this would be a really good uh, last video in my So What's Going On series, where I take a look at a game, talk about where it's been over the last year, or in this case, three years, actually, and talk about where it's going to go in the future. And I think for a game and a franchise as big as Bioshock, it deserves the, the final game in my yearly kind of preview series of this. So, what do we know about Bioshock? Where are we? And then what could we see in the in the coming year? So going back in the time machine, this game was first officially announced in December of 2019. Okay? So you have to go back three years ago it was officially announced. Now, the rumor of the studio, the Cloud Chamber, that's making it, all right? That rumor that there was a team, kind of a newly assembled team, some new people, some old people that were making this next take on Bioshock was reported 18 months, okay, so like a year and a half before that. Now, even if you don't want to give them that four and a half years, can we give them four? Can we give them around four years that they have been making the game? And the reason I spend maybe so much time on it is really this is the only thing to talk about regarding this game. There's been leaks about like a more branching path kind of thing that maybe, and there's like quests. The open world is going to have different like quest givers. It, it sounds like it's going to be a very different kind of Bioshock game, right? May work, may not work. But really... Outside of leaks and rumors, which could be true, could not be true, the only thing we have is when it was officially announced again back in December of 2019. So even if you want to give them back then, now I would give them actually an extra like year before that because you're not announcing that you're making a Bioshock game the day you start making the Bioshock game, right? You've been making it for a while, then you make an official announcement on it. So it's been three years. Could we see it in 2023? I think yes. My bold prediction for the Game Awards 2022 was that we would see Bioshock. And I really thought that we were going to. Now, Jeff Keighley had talked about how, you know, there was, I don't know if he said like one game or multiple games, but that's something like they were working on for years, like, and it finally came to fruition at, at the Game Awards. I think that was Judas. I don't know if he's actually said on Twitter what that game, it could be Armored Core, because that's been rumored for a very long time. I personally think it was Judas, because Ken Levine's game, has been in the works for an extremely long time. And the reason I bring up Judas is because, here's the thing, I'm not going to be so mad that we didn't get a Bioshock reveal at the Game Awards when we got, really, not a Bioshock clone, but we got a Bioshock-esque game from the man, the myth, the legend, Ken Levine. So I'm willing to take Judas for now, and I'm willing to love that game and, and hope for the best for that game when it comes out, whenever that happens to be, but I still want my Bioshock. And again, granted, it could be good, it could be bad, it doesn't have Ken Levine on it, so like, what do you lose there? I'm sure people have various opinions on Ken Levine and kind of the arc that he took uh, the franchise in, but you know, how is it going to go? Besides taking that part, I guess, away from it, right? Taking that part away from it, though, I still want to see it. I still want to play it. And I do think 2023 is the year. If for no other reason, and let's kind of like finagle some numbers here, right? So give them four years that they've been working on this game, right? Maybe the game is not ready to come out this year. In fact, I would say absolutely not, okay? So say 2024. Even if you don't want to say 2024, say 2025, all right? Give them another two years. Full on, I mean, we're in the very beginning of 2023. Look at my calendar just to make sure that's correct, right? Give them two more full years. But by the time the Game Awards comes around this upcoming December, which I believe is the 10 year and it's the 10th uh, Game Awards, so that's pretty that's pretty sweet. And what would make it better than an announcement of Bioshock, maybe like a GTA 6? But give it to the Game Awards. You're now in December of 2023. So you may have uh, a, a year and, you know, a couple months. You may have a year and a half. You may have two years before Bioshock comes out. But I mean, in the world that we're living in, and the way that Jeff Keighley seems to operate, and the way that the game developers and publishers that work with Jeff Keighley seem to operate, they have no problem showing off games years before they actually come out. Can we talk about Wonder Woman? Can we talk about uh, Mass Effect? Can we talk about Dragon Age? EA likes to do it, right? So, I mean, I really think you have enough there to, to build up. And the fact, by the way, that you announce Bioshock without showing anything granted, but you announce it in December of 2019, and then the game comes out, well, let's say let's say the fall of 2025. So the game comes out six years later. That further adds to the argument that you just should not be doing that, right? I know it was rumored for a long time. It's possible that, that they announced the Bioshock game just because there were rumors for over a year that it was happening and they just wanted to shut people up, which granted, it probably worked, right? But... You know, I really don't think that's the way to go, announcing your game and then six years later the game releases. Not not great. 
But, I mean, it's a different era, I guess, different time period now than it, than it was back in 2019. So by the time it gets to the Game Awards 2023, you show off the game within, within two years, the game could come out. That's assuming it's 2025, but again, like, how long am I supposed to give them to make the game? Because actually, again, if you believe the Kotaku, you know, reporting, which was 18 months before, which was true, uh, you know, that makes it, like, that would be actually seven and a half years between when they started and when the game comes out, if it's fall of 2025 it'd be seven and a half years they were working on a bioshock game i feel like that's enough time whether it's a red dead redemption 2 open world or not seven and a half years should be enough time to make this game so i'm willing to like kind of feel confident on numbers just because my brain can't handle taking 9, 10, 11 years to making a Bioshock game, right? I mean, you could argue maybe the Bioshock game comes out in the PS6 generation, but it's like, I don't I, How long are we supposed to give them? How long are we supposed to believe it takes to make this game? So I, I do have hope. I had uh, Now, again, granted and, and a biasness here, I thought it was going to happen in, in December. So I was already wrong once, but I feel like giving myself an entire calendar year, all of 2023... I feel like it's going to happen for, for no other reason than the numbers kind of game that I threw out there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this is the year that we see a Bioshock announcement? And again, by announcement, I just mean a trailer. Just show us a trailer, show us the logo, the name, and then you don't have to give a year. I think we would assume it was, it's within an area window, right? It's within one to two years away. Just do that. I think that would be more than fine. So let me know if you think that'll happen. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.